I just want to do something focus friends um about us ladies in our late 40s I don't know Margaret how you're in your early 50s I'm in my mid 50s as of March the 4th I'll be 55 wow you look so good you look, you look amazing. just amazing you really do yeah and and I can I can sorry I'm just gonna interject I can really see a big difference in you in your movement yes yes yeah the, like you're just the new drugs are like way, way better. Yeah. yeah I'm still taking, from it, but I'm, but I'm taking another. So what, what, what are you taking now, Margaret? I'm still on the same level of Premapexol mm -hmm. that I was. So one milligram, uh, three times a day. And then, um, I'm also taking half a tablet of Levacarb. Levodopa? Uh, Levodopa, Levodopa, Carbidopa. Yeah. Uh, three times a day so morning first thing in the morning midday and then around just before dinner and then not again until the next yeah. day and, and just adding that is just made a huge difference I guess yes it did yeah. me as well. I can yeah yeah so yeah. see it you just look yeah. like yeah. you're just your movement is fluid and you have more yeah, you know, yeah. expressive yeah yeah I'm not shuffling awesome. I'm not like you know you just don't understand like it was you actually who said to me you kind of are like on my off times. I'm like, I'm just used to this. This is just, mm, I yeah. thought this was who I was supposed to, what I was supposed to be like. And then I got into yeah. the, you got into the MDS again, but it takes a long time. Yeah. 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 Good. Okay. Sorry, Good. Tracy. I just, yeah. No, no. I just wanted to know how you was getting on with your symptoms and, you know, medicate. I mean, last time I spoke to you, you was pretty much without any kind of neurologist or any kind of care yourself. Um, well, I have an MDS. I have a movement disorder specialist. His, his doctor Stossel, and he practices that at, out of UBC in Vancouver. And he has offered, and now he has referred me to have a local um, neurologist. So in Victoria, which right. is about uh, 100 kilometers away. Um, so I'm going to actually go back to the doctor who originally diagnosed me, Doctor Scott. So together they will kind of manage my care along with my GP who lives in town and mm -hmm. Doctor Chan. And I mean, he admits it. He, he says, I don't know shit about Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. I just, he's, he's so He'll cool, learn. but he's really willing. He's like, he, you know, he's like, you micromanage the shit out of your disease, Tanya. So I like know that you're, if you ask me for something, like he has no problems, you know, having a conversation with me about prescribing medication. And if he doesn't feel comfortable, he'll just refer me on. So, um, yeah, I'm, I'm taking Pramapexel like Margaret. Right. Um, I take mm -hmm. a half a milligram four times a day. I also take, um, I'm prescribed five of the immediate release of a double covered open. So the yellow cinemat, basically yeah. the 100 over 25s. And I'm also prescribed five of the controlled release of the same medication, same dose. And then I also take modafinil, which is an anti, um, uh, anti narcolepsy and shift worker syndrome medication. And I believe that off label might be considered a smart drug as well. And I, I was prescribed that by a doctor and I just find like, you know, Dr. Sossel asked if it made my dyskinesia worse, which I don't think it does, but it does help with a little bit of like, you know, fatigue and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't take it. I don't necessarily take it every day. Um, but I did notice it helps. And then there was a couple, uh, there's a study that said it might help with freezing of gait. And it is, it does seem to be being prescribed more for people with like issues like Parkinson's and mm -hmm. uh, like Alzheimer's that can have um, fatigue components to the symptoms. What's yeah. it called? It's called modafinil. 
uh, the uh, that's the generic name. I, I believe the the drug name of one of the companies is Provigil. Some doctors don't seem to like it, but the doctor that I was seeing at the time, Dr. Eardley, he was a sleep disorder specialist, uh, like that was his specialty. So he um, dumped me as a patient, but I mean, he did prescribe that and it did really help. But like I said, I don't necessarily need to take it all the time. Um, I think that the, whatever, whatever caused the fatigue, I, I don't know if it was the lack of exercise or whatever, but that seems to be resolved. I was diagnosed in September, 2017, and we are now in 2021, early 2021. Um, and for me, um, I'm a mother and I'm very busy and I keep busy. And I think that that's the thing that helps me the most because most days I don't even think about Parkinson's. I honestly don't, I just keep moving. I look after my house, I look after my family, I do my um, hobbies, I exercise and I just don't let it stop me. I just keep going. I do everything that I did before, maybe some of it a little bit slower, um, but there's no reason to, be afraid of it, I think, for, yeah. yeah. Okay, um, so my advice to those diagnosed uh, after the age of 45 with, um, especially women with Parkinson's is um, like Margaret said and Tracy said, you can't let it stop you from living your life. And um, the best advice I can give you for the, for me, what's worked for me is to focus on making sure that you take care of yourself and you don't stop doing the things that you did before to make yourself feel good. So, you know, keep doing your hair, keep getting your nails done, keep putting on perfume, whatever the things that you do, you know, you did before, keep doing those things. Don't give up and think, oh, you know, now I've got Parkinson's and I'm just going to, you know, hide away from the world. Mm -hmm. There's no need to do that. And the other thing I'm going to say is you need to exercise every day and your focus really should be on trying to do strength training. Mm -hmm. um, sarcopenia is, I, I mean, I know I talk about this all the time and everybody gets <laughs> sick of me saying it, but if, if the stronger you are, the better you are able to resist the ravages of the disease. So balance, all of those things are functions of your strength. And the more muscular, the, the stronger you are, the better balance you're going to have, the, you know, the, your endurance will be better. Your stamina will be better. And I think that there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, crossover between what it takes to like go to the gym every day and work out and what it takes to fight Parkinson's. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a big mental game and you know, you're, you're fighting a war. So you got to train like a warrior, right? Yeah. Yeah. You got to yeah, be I'm strong. And I, I've, I've got to admit, in this past 18 months, exercise has changed my life, it, you know, for the better. Yeah. I feel better. I'm sleeping better. I've got some muscles, <laughs> you know, I've, yeah. got, I've got strength. And I know yeah. I put some weight on through the um, lockdown Perfect. last year, but I'm Oh, yeah, everybody. Track, you know, COVID but <laughs> the exercise. <laughs> the I COVID-20. I'm, I'm actually fitter than everybody in this household. Yeah. You know, and I've got problems. Uh, yeah. so. so I yeah. have something else to add to this, by the way. Exercise also helps with your libido. Yes, it does. Right. <laughs> and you know, I, for a little while, I wasn't on the levocarb, and then when mm -hmm. I started taking it, when I was lying in bed one day, I was like, "Where's your mom? Where's your mom?" <laughs> it was bedtime. It. I was in the bathroom. I opened the door. I'm like, "Come out to the bedroom right now." <laughs> Let's and get it on. Holy macaroni! What happened to you? We just have to work around the other, you know, the other thing. Yeah, just, yeah. yeah. I th yeah. I think that you can't stop. You can't stop being who you are. That, now that might change a little bit too. I mean, I, I get you know that sometimes you have to adapt to certain situations. You know, maybe you cut your hair short or whatever. Or, and not every woman is going to be concerned about those things like you know makeup yeah. and hair. But don't stop doing the things that you love, mm -hmm. you know, if that's horseback riding or, you know, whatever it is, or find a way to uh, find a way to keep doing those things or find a way, find new things that fulfill you in the same way. If you can't keep doing them, you know, for example, yeah. like I can't ride a pedal bike anymore. Yeah. So, no, not every time. Uh, you know, so really that's like fine. Yeah. 
Well, I liked it before. I liked it before, but you, you just find some something a little bit different that still fills your but cup. You're but still, you're still able to ride your motorcycle. Yeah, because it has three wheels. Yeah. Right. So yeah. But, but that's something I mean, you didn't give up. Like you kept at it. Yeah. And yeah. Even I, like, I started doing. Day. Yeah, I, I started after I was diagnosed. Right. I didn't learn to ride a motorcycle until I was diagnosed with Parkinson's. So there, you have so much life and left in front of you to live. Mm -hmm. Don't don't think that all the good days are gone. You know, there's, there's tons of good things so to come. Days, and yeah, yeah, lots and of good days. The other part is, you know, I remember when I was first diagnosed, I'd wake up crying every single day for weeks. And then one day I didn't wake up that way. And then another day I woke up and I was like, oh, I have Parkinson's. Like, you know, it just, it'll, it, it gets easier. You, you won't be it so does, sad. Yeah after a while it's 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 a hard blow at the beginning um but yeah you wake up one day and you just realize that it's yeah yeah it's a it's don't waste your open. time yeah don't waste your don't waste the precious time that you have i mean mm. we only have one life and you know nope, yeah. nobody has nobody knows okay. when you know when, when um when it's going to be over. So live your life now and yeah. don't yeah. let Parkinson's, you know, say yes, live, you know, get out there and do things. Don't, mm -hmm. don't hide yourself away from the world. Yeah.